Ash is a customer at a small local bookshop where Joe, the clerk, flirts with her. They connect and have coffee together while talking about the idea of having a final purpose. They begin dating and enter a committed relationship after that. Joe says he's still not sure what Ash does for a living one morning at a cafe. She sidesteps the subject by saying, I love you, before announcing she has something significant to share with him. Hunter runs across a man nearby who confronts him about it, and Hunter knocks him down. Hunter approaches Ash at the table and shoots her in the head before she can clarify that she isn't from here. A sobbing Joe clings to the body while Hunter places the rifle on a different table. Joe tries to follow Hunter after the initial shock, but he magically vanishes in an alley. Joe cancels all of his plans, and stays inside the apartment the entire next two weeks because he is so depressed. Joe finally grants his friend Oliver access after he persistently tries to visit. Joe can't taste the coffee Oliver brought, and his arms are so weak that he spills the cup. Oliver wants to soothe Joe, but Joe doesn't want to hear it, so Oliver walks away. Joe purchases a gun and many rounds of ammunition that attempts. Joe checks the rifle by shooting at the couch. Joe tries to self-delete again, but it still doesn't work even though the bullet has now come out and caused considerable damage. After hearing the gunshot, the apartment to I wants to notify the police, but Joe assures her it was an accident. Then, as Joe hears Ash yelling his name, he shoots the window to shatter the glass and leaps out. He is shocked to discover that, with all the glass fragments all around him, he is floating in midair. He thinks it was all a dream when he wakes up abruptly in bed because the rifle is still on the table, and the sofa is in perfect condition. Joe flees the building in a panic as the AI informs him that there are communications from Ash. He notices a woman with an odd expression on her face as he strolls along the street. Additionally, he believes he can make out Ash's face on the billboards. Ash keeps sending him messages on his phone, which shouldn't be feasible. He goes to Oliver for guidance since he is too afraid to look at them. Joe ultimately chooses to open them after Oliver speculates that those might be pre-recorded messages Ash prepared in case something happened to her. A video of Ash explains that something happened to her if he is witnessing this. She requires him to pick up a special order, in his name from the bookstore. Meanwhile, Joe's movements are being monitored by Erica and two operators in a pitch black room. Joe eventually arrives at the bookshop and retrieves the special order, a little book. Joe's head hurts and his eyesight becomes fuzzy as he reads the love message from Ash on the first page. Fortunately, it ends quickly, and he is able to go without realizing a man is pursuing him. After reporting to Erica, the man is told to take Joe down and get the book. More guys are activated by the operators using their computer, and they begin to follow Joe as well. Pretending to be a renter, one of the men even enters the elevator with Joe. Ash sends Joe a note on his way to his flat, warning him that the odd might murder him. The man barricades the door with his foot, and starts shooting as Joe jumps into his spot, and tries to close it. The house eye seems to be offline when she tries to get in touch with the authorities. Joe then hides after missing his shot while running to retrieve his gun off the table. Joe tries to shoot again but misses as the stranger gets closer. The man prepares to strike, but Joe's body unexpectedly shifts beyond his will, and he shoots the stranger with perfect accuracy. Hearing someone in the hallway, a bewildered Joe cautiously makes his way to the door. A brawl breaks out, when Joe swiftly discerns the second assailant. The man causes Joe to lose his gun as well, and effortlessly overwhelms him before Joe starts evading at a remarkable rate, which enables him to take the man down with a single motion. The man gets better right away and requests for assistance. He then begins thrashing Joe with a skill he had not previously used. When the opponent tries to strike back, Joe throws him onto a table and slams his face against the wall. After the man claims he doesn't understand, Joe punches him until he passes out. When Joe gets back to his apartment later, he sees Ash on the television, but it's a live feed rather than a message. The body by his door vanishes at the same moment. Ash clarifies that time doesn't operate the same way, where she lives and that she simply had problems breaking into the system. Not that she meant to leave him, she has to give her some background information before she can tell her what happened. Technology began to develop too quickly many years ago. Advanced behavioral modeling and incredibly lifelike representation gave rise to artificial intelligence. The entertainment sector was primarily responsible for all of this, but intelligence services also took notice. Centec, one of the large companies, hired Hunter, a talented software programmer, although he had a side project. He collected as much data as he could from the real world and gave it to a machine to assess process control. He intended to use all of this data to build a live, virtualized world that would be fed by an ongoing flow of data. Hunter needed assistance. And one day, he got a mail from another programmer offering to help. Together, they established the first digital universe, 
or DU, which was a fully functional population. Real people with feelings and agency of their own, were the only thing lacking. Hunter began using his DU to conduct any testing he desired, ranging from sophisticated weapons to risky surgical implants. Things quickly accelerated once Hunter was appointed CEO of Centec. He claimed that virtual humans were less expensive than actual ones, and provided his DU permission to try various things without facing any repercussions. Hunter tested and produced nearly 500 DU models over the course of 10 years until he finally struck gold with the current model. Ash refers to him as a genuine man she loves, but Joe realizes he's really a computer program. Hunter killed Ash's model in the DU, but Ash is a genuine woman who works for an intelligence organization in the real world. She goes on to tell Hunter's story, describing how the government finally banned the modeling technology because all of his studies were unethical. Hunter, however, concealed it in the virtual world rather than destroying it. Since of his admin permissions, he vanished the day he shot Ash, although defying the rules of physics, can ruin the DU and result in problems since it ceases to feel real. Ash has been searching for Hunter's secret technology for a long time. She met Joe on her quest and fell in love with him. They must release the additional layer of info, in the book she sent him as soon as possible. Joe discovers that the other programmer is his friend Oliver while examining the images Ash used in her narrative. Oliver hasn't been spotted in real life for years. Ash wants Joe to get in touch with Oliver and seek for his assistance because she is unable to return to DU, which makes Joe question, who gave him more skills and prevented him from self-deleting. Hunter continues to play with an odd orb while Erica is there. She explains that the Joe mission is creating too many problems for her team to handle quickly, and that removing it from international networks is the only way to guarantee that no one enters DU again. Hunter, however, declines to do so because it would disrupt the information feed. Erica warns out that he's killing billions of people and that they're running the risk of being exposed, but Hunter just babbles on about how far humanity has come. Hunter wants Erica to locate the real Ash before she departs. Oliver gets in touch with Ash later, but he just has, 30 seconds to speak. Oliver vows to keep in touch after she informs him she needs his assistance in closing down the DU and with Joe. Her alarm goes off at that precise moment, signaling the approach of a few armed guys donning odd masks. Ash is able to remain undetected, and leaves her flat without anyone noticing. She is able to conceal before the drone that is patrolling the streets notices her once more. Ash locates Oliver's house by following a map when her computer tracks his call. He only lets her in once she demonstrates that she just has a knife and no fire weapons. Ash tells him about her time at the DU, and how she came to terms with the fact that the programs are essentially real people. They don't deserve to be shut down, but she also doesn't think they should be used in experiments. Oliver acknowledges that he was the one who prevented Joe from self-deleting and provided him with additional skills but he doesn't explain to her why he has been residing in the DU. He acknowledges Ash's genuine love for Joe and offers to assist, telling her about an old building of his where she can now hide. Oliver soon provides Ash with the tools to return, allowing her to see Joe again. Hunter notices this abrupt change in coding on his computer. Ash convinces Joe that he is real, and gives him a kiss, but Joe is unsure of how to respond now that he knows he isn't. The scene is cut short as Ash abruptly exits the virtual world, and returns to her room. Ash has to flee since Hunter is on them, Oliver explains. Therefore he had to do it. She is soon being followed by a man in a mask. Joe locates Oliver in the DU, and pleads for assistance. Oliver explains that Ash is having problems, and speculates that Hunter will soon close this virtual world, as he can simply create a new one, and all these bugs aren't worth the trouble. This implies that Joe and everyone, he knows will vanish. However, Oliver has a suggestion, Joe has to make the data his model is carrying public. Oliver affirms that he did the same with this world as engineers did years ago, when they left things in the code. The data Ash had been attempting to extract, was contained in the book Ash sent Joe, which contained a backup of the whole DU with a key in hand. Oliver instructs Joe to upload all the data, head home, and await a message with the following steps. Joe agrees to the job, but first he gets his rifle, and bids his eye farewell at his residence. Ash is fleeing from the masked man who has started shooting in the real world. When the man gets close enough to attack her, she emerges from behind a dumpster in an alley. When they begin fighting, the guy prevents Ash from using her dagger, but Ash breaks his mask, and strikes him a few times to knock him down instead. She then asks about DU technology while grabbing the man's revolver, and striking him with it. Ash strikes the man once again, and walks away when he doesn't respond. Unfortunately, she is struck by another man and knocked unconscious as soon as she exits the alley. Ash is strapped to a chair in Hunter's office, when she awakens. When she confronts Hunter about his unethical behavior, 
he responds that her actions against Joe don't make her any different from him. Hunter then goes into DU to speak with Oliver, who discloses that he collaborated with Hunter since he was unaware of his true motivations until it was too late. Despite calling Hunter a psychopath, he still vows to avoid him. Hunter's men discover Oliver's actual body at that precise moment and shoot him, removing him from the virtual world. Oliver sends Joe a pre-programmed message a few seconds later informing him that he is now alone. Joe discovers a PC containing all the info when he walks into an old apartment. As soon as he touches the control panel, all of the data is instantly transmitted. Erica is alerted by this and gives her guys orders to stop him. Joe pulls the key on the screen to open a cabinet full of weaponry as two men soon emerge outside the window. Joe dispatches the soldiers with flawless shots as soon as they enter. Joe vanishes as he hears Hunter's voice, only to reappear at the waterfront outside the city. Hunter, who is already there, shoots Joe in the shoulder before threatening to kill him, saying that Joe won't respawn if he dies as a result of Hunter. Hunter then begins torturing Joe by disarming him and making him float using his control panel. When Hunter brings up Ash, Joe yells in rage and regains his composure just as he is going to be unmade. Joe drops to the ground, retrieves his rifle, and shoots Hunter, bringing him back to reality while Hunter is unaware of what is occurring. A distraught Ash begs Hunter to at least let her say goodbye as he declares that it's time for a reboot at the office. Hunter agrees to make the call and finds it funny that she is genuinely in love with a piece of software. As Ash watches the world around him slowly fall apart, Joe gets to say his final words to him. He tells Ash that he loves her, and that his sentiments are genuine even, if he is digital since his body begins to change as well. Subsequently, his phone vanishes as well, and the buildings and ground crumble until only darkness remains. Hunter gives his guard the command to murder Ash after the computer verifies that the deletion is finished. Oliver's voice interrupts the scene by calling Hunter out just before the desk's sphere starts to tremble. Abruptly, it begins to float and enlarge before vanishing. Hunter is perplexed, when Oliver shows up on the television because his men are said to have slain the actual body. The orb's particles start to reappear and take the form of Joe, as Oliver explains that he concealed several levels of universes within the DU. He instantly forces the guard to drop his weapon when a gun emerges in his hand. The guard reaches for his rifle once again as Joe turns to face Hunter, but his body begins to malfunction. Erica seizes the opportunity to begin hitting him until he passes out, at which point she declares that she has finished Hunter's nefarious schemes and frees Ash. Joe then causes Hunter to fall through the window after shooting him several times. At last, Ash and Joe can get back together. Later, when Ash and Joe go to see Oliver, he tells them that the cosmos is a system of levels and that coding is no different from flesh and blood. All he needed to do was copy and paste Joe's code into Ash's level. Oliver drinks when he gets home and then vanishes into another dimension. 